Taurus, I'm here to give you your November 2020 tarot reading. Yes! Alrighty then, if you're new here, hello, my name is Lori Gemini Tarot, and I do tarot readings. How this works, I will give you not one, but two tarot readings. The first deck I will be using, it is going to be the Tarot by Oliver Hebert. The second tarot reading I will be using is going to be the Aquarius Tarot by Dawn Aquarius, and I will also be throwing in an Oracle reading, which is the Enchanted Bruja Oracle deck. So if the first reading doesn't resonate with you, usually the second one will. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. It is not the Romy. I swear to God. Um, so please note that this is a general collective tarot reading. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content. I'm a small YouTuber. I am trying to compete with big competitors in the YouTube universe, so if you could do me a solid and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and if you could tag people um, or forward the videos, share the videos if you think that it's going to resonate with other Tauruses, small things like that make my day and helps my channel grow. So thank you so much for trying to help out. And uh, one, two, three, just two little small things. Make sure you comment down below, uh, you know, if the reading resonates with you, you like the decks, you like what the hell is coming out of my mouth. Those kind of things help me in a YouTube alg algorithm. And uh, if you like to book a personal tarot reading in the description box below, is a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing cards down cause you're just like, just shut up already. So this is gonna be for Taurus for November, 2020. So I do have the hangman reverse, which is Pisces energy. Let's see what else is going on for Taurus. I have the queen of swords, which is Gemini Libra energy, as well as the full card Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. So I do have the two of cups here. I have the page of pentacles reverse. I have the four of pentacles. I have the two of swords reverse. I have the death card with the Scorpio energy and I have the Empress card reverse. Uh, okay, so you just get one additional card. The bottom of the deck, the overall vibe I do have, which is going to be the 10 of swords here, which is gonna be Aquarius energy. Uh, during Scorpio season, you're gonna have a spiritual awakening, all right? And basically what this spiritual awakening going to be with the ten of swords is that this is a recap of you know like when you watch your favorite television show and when you jump into the next series beforehand it gives you a nice little recap of what happened in the last series that this is what this did okay so it's going to be a little painful it's going to be a little bit awkward but it's going to be engineered away this is just giving you a highlight reel of like what happened and your the past is going to be behind you all right you're going to be moving on to bigger and better things so starting off with the hangman reverse this is going to be pisces energy taurus you have made a choice all right and you've been hanging on to this and this was all free will like you could have chosen to let go of this matter but of course taurus you had to be bitter and salty you had to hold on to it to the bitter end right you had to try to force something right and now you're setting boundaries with the queen of swords here so you could be dealing with Pisces, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could have this all in your chart, okay? But there's this energy that's gonna be happening here where you're finally, there's, you're finally being an adult and you're finally, you're being tactful about it, but you're just like, no, I'm not gonna allow you to do that. And it feels like if necessary, you may have to put some sort of legal course, you know, you may have to threaten like a cease or desist or a restraining order. It feels like you're gonna be very tactfully putting somebody in their place. You're gonna be very respectful. Um, but this is like calling somebody out for being a clown, right? 
this is like you're choosing to no longer to ignore the issue because that's what this was. So you're gonna read this clown to filth with this is Sagittarius or whatever, okay? Uh, because this was somebody that was acting like a fool. This was like, you were tired or, or this person was tired. It doesn't matter. Like this individual was tired of like tripping over their clown shoes, you know, and they always would drop their clown nose, right? Because that's what this fool card is in reverse. This is somebody that is always being scammed. Like, this is one of the most incompetent people on the planet. Like, it, it just feels like you caught this individual red-handed, and this person is still trying to defend... Or it's like somebody doing, like, the worst Photoshop ever, and you calling them out on it, and they're still, like, not admitting, like, yeah, I was Photoshopped or whatever. It just feels like this was just, like, a blatant scam or a blatant lie, and just, like... You're just like, bitch, I have the receipts. Like, I have the receipts, I'm a Taurus. I have the receipts. And you're still acting like a clown. You're still acting like a fool. And you're still acting unfaithful, right? There's no loyalty here. Like, you're gonna be calling somebody out for being unfaithful. This could be a friend. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a business partnership as well. But somebody's being called out. The Two of Cups here, there is some sort a romantic partnership. Now, this could have even been like a quick elopement and like somebody like like somebody getting eloped quickly, like somebody eloped and then afterward going like, oh shit, what the fuck did I do? Like, it just feels like this is not like you, Taurus. Like we got eloped and then I realized what I did and I was like, oh shit. Um, there feels like there's some sort of business partnership, like somebody decided to sign a deal, assign a contract, some sort of endorsement, and then you found out the real tea, like this person's known for scamming, or this is an unreputable co company, or they burned so many bridges. It feels like somebody is gonna get read to filth like on social media or something about a partner. It feels like somebody is gonna be exposed about a partnership, about a bit, like somebody being unfaithful or being disloyal to a business partnership to their audience, okay? Um, this could be as easily as this person brings nothing to the table. This could be as easily as this person is an emotional cripple this person could be just lying for their identity. This person is just like a bum. They can't even hold a job. It feels like they failed a drug test. It feels like this person is unable to provide anything. This is your energy. I'm also seeing Virgo as well. And I'm also seeing a little bit of an Aquarius, Taurus. It was like this person, okay, so here's the thing. Like, you had to get a restraining order. You divorce this person, or you're just like, I'm leaving you because I'm tired of trying to make this relationship work. I am tired of looking like a clown. And then this person wants to come back, and they're like, I want to be with you. I want to make this relationship work. But they offer nothing. Like, this person is... An emotional, like, do you, re, like, you are a queen, you are a king, and you should not be wasting your time with a knight or a page, right? Like, the audacity. This person offered nothing, but they want to be in a partnership with you. Like, the, the only thing that they bring is the audacity. The four of pentacles here, do not, just because you're feeling insecure with yourself, because this person that's what they do. They gaslight you, make you think that you actually need them when you don't, Taurus. You don't need this individual. And whether if it's a parent, a sibling, a romantic partnership, a friend, you know, because friends that do this is not really a friend. Let's just keep it real. It feels like there's somebody that you have emotional deep ties with that is just blowing smoke up your ass. And they keep on saying that they want to be with you, they want to be with you, but their actions and everything else that shows otherwise. Like, they're just, they're the type of thing, like, when you scroll on your social media and then you see, like, one of those Reddit, am I an asshole threads, and you clearly see somebody who's, like, the biggest liar, cheater, manipulator, bum that does, that bring absolutely nothing to the relationship, but they're appalled, right? <laughs> They're appalled that they actually have to do some work. They're appalled that they didn't get something that their way this one time. 
You know, it's just like, and then you get worked up, like you get worked up, and then you start to like writing, like you just start ripping them, out, like, a, like, and ooh, like you just start getting into it. So it's like, it, it feels like you are really insecure. You're still trying, like, this person is really trying to make this relationship work, and clearly, this person really is trying to make this relationship work with you because. They want to be a bum. They want to leech off of you. They want you to work Why they just sit off their ass and do nothing. And this person just brings nothing. Like, they don't have any loyalty. They don't really have any real friends. Like, this person's pers perspective on what loyalty and friendship is, is just for real. Like, yo, can I get a yank? Like, there's not enough yikes for me to scream to the universe. So they offer nothing. Yet they're insecure, or this could be you, insecure, still trying to cling on to this. Okay. And this is just because um, you're afraid to break the cycle. But once you make that choice, and you do, because the hangman here, it's like you're ready to let go. So this Libra energy... By the end of, of course, by the end of Libra season, that's when it starts. Where you're like, alrighty, I'm tired of deflecting. I'm tired of being insecure. I'm still trying to cling on to this relationship, trying to resuscitate. Like, it's like you, like, it's like a, a person that's gotten bitten by the zombie apocalypse and they're hiding it from the group and you're defending like the person that's being like that was bitten by the zombie and it's like you just need to get rid of like the virus you need to get rid of that thing like you, that just you're no longer the fuck thing it's like all right like you gotta pull like an old yeller at this point um you're ready for change was with, with scorpio season by the end of libra season you're ready to cut the tides you're no longer gonna deflect or pander november here with scorpio season you're ready for change and you're embracing it. People are afraid of the death card and it's really a positive transformation. Like you come from a cocoon and like you're finally woke. You're finally woke for the first time because you're no longer gonna feel insecure. You're no longer going to allow others to manipulate you because you know your self worth, you know your dignity and you deserve better, one, two, three, four. So that was your first reading. So if that resonated with you, please make sure to comment down below. Make sure if you like the deck, um, you like what the hell is coming out of my mouth. If you like this dress, you know how it is. I'm going to go ahead and give you your second reading. And the deck I'm going to be using, it is the Dawn Aquarius uh, by, excuse me, uh, Aquarius Tarot by Dawn Aquarius. Let's see. I just like to flip things around. Okay. So... This is going to be for Taurus for November 2020. So if the first reading did not resonate with you, hopefully the second one will. Let me go ahead and mix these bad boys up. Okay. Now cards for Taurus for November 2020. I won't take the floor card. So I do have the three of pentacles here. So I do see some sort of collaboration, some sort of business partnership. I do see somebody finally getting the job that they want. This could have been because of a word of mouth or somebody forged your resume over to someone. I do have the Queen of Cups here. So this is gonna be a Cancer Pisces energy. Um, I'm seeing somebody in the medical field. I'm a, like a nurse or a doctor. This could also be somebody in the dentistry. I'm also seeing somebody that's also a veterinarian. This could be somebody that works in childcare or daycare center. I do have the temperance, excuse me. I do have the judgment card reverse, Scorpio energy. I do have the high priestess reverse. This is gonna be Cancer Pisces energy. And I do have the Ten of Wands here, okay, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe I do have for you, Taurus, I have the Hermit card reverse, which is going to be Virgo and a little bit of Aquarius here. Um, you could be dealing with these signs. You could also be having. You could also have this in your chart. It feels like you found the answer that you've been looking for and you're just tired of deflecting and you've been making excuses and now you just have to finally cut the cord. It feels like you have to do something cold turkey 
it's not personal, it's business type of attitude. Um, I'm like Aquarius, I see it too, it's quite a bit. Okay, so I do see here with the Three of Pentacles, there is some sort of collaboration. I'm seeing you working with people with different age groups. Um, this could be in a technology or even in a construction or agriculture base. Um, you could, this could also be for whatever reason, hearing marketing and financing as well, something working with the stocks. Um, this is just uh, being, I'm also seeing somebody, okay, this is gonna be for one person, Taurus. Somebody is pregnant and they don't realize it. Whether if it's you or somebody else that you know, this could be a water sign. But I am seeing that. Uh, I am seeing you taking a job that you've always wanted. This is actually helping healing people. I'm also seeing somebody that's a light worker, a spiritual healer, a tarot reader, a life coach, a counselor or a therapist. Uh, this is somebody that's getting a lot of dreams and visions and especially in Scorpio season, you're going to be experiencing a lot of visions and dreams. Um, there's going to be reoccurring dreams for some of you and this could be focus, focal point, maybe on a mother or a grandmother, on a sister. It's going to be it's going to be some sort of woman figure. This could have been somebody that may have passed on and you may have not thought about this person or you may, or there's going to be some sort of a dream or vision that you're going to have, or just a memory that you're like, it was for whatever reason suppressed. Like I haven't even thought about that in like 20 years or something like that. It's going to feel that way. Or it's like, I have not had a dream about them or a vision about them ever. And here they are. And they're giving me some sort of blessing. Now, the judgment card here, this is Scorpio energy. So during Scorpio season, something that is ending. So there is some sort of karmic shift and you're just ending ties. There's a chapter that's ending. This could be ending of a relationship or a marriage. Um, for that small audience, it feels like your partner cheated and left you for somebody else and maybe like started a new family, whatever the fuck that means which is if they did that, that is just trash. Okay, so um, the high priestess reverse, there's a secret that was exposed. And for some of you, this was pertaining to somebody having some sort of work affair. Um, this was maybe like they was like a student teacher relationship. They got somebody pregnant and they broke up a family is also what I'm seeing. And this secret got exposed. That's what I'm seeing for a small audience. Everybody else, I'm just seeing a karmic shift that's ended. And it's because you've opened your eyes and you're finally seeing the truth for what it is. You're no longer gonna be carrying this burden. You're no longer gonna be carrying this guilt with you. You're no longer gonna feel ashamed because you kind of always suspected it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you Oracle reading. Then I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Enchanted Bruja Oracle deck. So if these readings resonated with you, make sure you comment down below. And if you enjoyed the deck, you like the artwork, make sure you comment down below because I know the artists, they do check out these videos and they do enjoy feedback. So let me go ahead and start throwing cards down for Taurus for November, 2020. Okay, I do have pumpkin, which is protection. I do have trick or treat, which is giving. Okay. I do have All Hallows Eve. Okay, hold on, hold on. These are very important messages. And I have Toad, which is harmony. Okay. So a lot of you light workers, spiritual healers, tarot readers, um, even if somebody who is starting to dabble into the spiritual realm, this is a particular message for you. So you need to trust your intuition. You're gonna always be protected by the universe. So what I would suggest doing, some of you, you need to do some sort of protection spell. 
okay? Um, I find that you don't always have to hex people. Um, you could just do a protection spell and you can get your full objective without harming anybody or yourself in the process. Uh, it feels like 2020 has been rough for your Taurus, but 2021 is gonna bring you great blessings. So with the Sam Hand, which is All Hallows Eve and a Trick or Treat, which is the giving card, that when you get one of these cards, but especially when you get these two cards paired together, Halloween is very important. That is a blue full moon. So during that time, you better be manifesting like a motherfucker and you better be projecting exactly what you want and you desire. You better be providing treats. So what I would suggest doing is that um, say like you have a family member or a friend, somebody that you love or, clear, or you clearly care for has passed. You have a photo of them. Uh, why don't you start leaving some treats for them? You know, like their favorite, if they're, you know, like say like they are, they love chocolate. Leave their favorite ch candy bar. You know, if they love the beach, give them some she shells, you know, throw down some sand for them, you know, uh, leave oranges. Oranges are great things to leave for your ancestors. It brings like prosperity and luck and good fortune. It brings in fucking money for you. No joke. You leave that shit for your ancestors? Shit. They eat that shit up. You know, you, for real, if you are living in like a sketch neighborhood and you're afraid of like, oh, I don't want to make sure that anybody breaks into my place. You do shit like that for your ancestors. You do that. You leave shit. You don't have to deal with any of that. It works really, really well. So, especially when you have these two cards during Halloween, especially because it is a full moon and it is a blue moon, you better be manifesting exactly what you want. Go ahead and do a protection spell. You don't have to do whatever spell that you desire, but you are always going to be protected by your ancestors, right? The more you know. And with Toad, which is harmony, two, 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 right? You're going to find peace and balance. So you need to trust your intuition. Know that you're a bad witch or a wizard, like you're a wizard, Harry, you're a wizard, Harry or Hermione, right? And go ahead and manifest and bring out to the universe what you want and what you desire. And you're going to be rewarded and you're going to be protected and you're always loved. So hopefully that reading resonated with you, Taurus. So if it did, make sure that you comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share these videos, you know, to a tourist that you know that is eating Taco Bell right now and is getting stoned off their ass, right? You know who that Taurus is. Is it you? Is it you? Is it? Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Whatever. This is going way too long. I love you guys. Nanu, nanu.